Fam. welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today I will be showing you how I make coconut dumplings and stewed turkey if you're interested keep watching don't forget to like comment subscribe put on your post notification bell so you don't miss each time I upload also thank you so much for your continued support we do appreciate it and we pray that you'll continue to enjoy this journey with us now let's get into this video we are going to start off by prepping the turkey. Here I have some seasoned turkey and I will be pressuring it today simply because it makes the process a whole lot easier for me. Now on a normal day, I guess um, you can do the normal way of cooking which is to allow it to do its thing. But for me, pressuring is so much easier. So to my pressure pot, I'm just going to add in the turkey and then I am adding in some water to ensure that there is enough that it doesn't burn. So it's enough to pressure it and not allow it to burn or anything. So once it starts boiling, I am now going to put on the pressure rubber and I will allow it to pressure. And then while that is happening, I'll move on to the next step. Here I have my seasoning. I'm sorry guys, my voice just went a little bit close. But my seasonings are basil. I have here some chai, some pimento, garlic, onion, and I also have your carrot, which I will be adding to the um, turkey. So I'm just going to speed through me cut cutting, sorry, the uh, seasonings. This is what they look like after I would have um, finished chopping them up. And there I also have some fresh thyme that I will be adding to the meat. And of course, I did chop up the carrots. Next, we're going to check on the turkey and it's actually finished. And there is some broth remaining that you can use. Uh, back in the stew or you can use it for something else don't throw it away so I did check it and it's nice and soft now I did pressure it a little bit too much simply because I was actually doing something while I was pressuring and I did not check the timing but anywho we will work with that so to another skillet I'm adding in some oil and I'm just going to go in with the seasonings I did mention except the thyme once I would have add them all in, I'm just going to mix it, mix it around until everything is combined and then we are going to allow it to saute for a couple minutes and then I'll come back to show you the next step. So after a couple of minutes, this is what it looks like. Next, I am going in with the turkey. And as I said, I did uh, pressure it a little too much so I'm gently mixing it into the seasonings. Next, I'm just going to add in some brown nin. Now, you can make it from scratch or you can get those ready-made ones. I choose to use the ready-made ones because I'm not good at making it from scratch. I think I might have mentioned that before. But anyhow, we are just going to gently fold it around in that mixture. As I said, you want to be extra careful. And I did allow it to uh, salt it for a couple of minutes. And next, I am going in with some water. Now, the turkey is already cooked, but the water is more so for the gravy part of it or the stew part of it. Well, the gravy part of it. Just want a little bit of gravy there, you know what I mean? <laughs> or sauce, <laughs> as you would say. All right. So I'm just um, going to add in my carrots and also the fresh thyme. And of course, you add salt and uh, um, any pepper or any other seasoning of choice if the flavor isn't up to mark. So I'm just going to allow that to cook and then I will move on to the next step. I have just put some water on to boil and then this would be for our coconut dumplings. So I'm going to move on now to making the coconut dumplings. Here I have some flour and I also have here my coconut. Now what I did, I blend the coconut and I left it as is. So I have the coconut milk and the husk together. So next, I'm going to add some salt to help flavor the dumplings. And then I am going to go in and mix it really well. And next, I'm just going to pour in my liquid. And I'm just going to mix that up. And once it comes to a firm dough, I will come back to show you what it looks like. 
Comment below and let me know how you make your coconut dumpling. So this is what it looks like. It's nice and as you can see, bits and pieces of the coconuts, the coconut, sorry, husk is peeping through. <laughs> All right. So next we're going to set that aside and then move on to check in our turkey. It's almost there and I'm just going to add in some green peas and then I'm just going to gently again mix it around and allow it to uh, simmer for a couple more minutes and then remove it from the heat. So while that is happening, we are moving back to our dumplings. The water is boiling and now I'm just um, cutting the dough or pulling the dough into smaller pieces and making it into dumplings. Now I am making some long and also some round. Whatever shape and size and preference, that is your preference, sorry, you can simply um, do that. Another thing I need to point out here is that I did not add any salt to the water simply because the uh, dumpling itself has some salt as well as the uh, turkey and I'm trying not to use too much salt so hence the reason why you would not have seen me add in any salt to the water. So I'm just going to continue adding in the dumplings and this is what they look like. Now I'm just going to put a cover over it and allow it to cook checking it now and it's actually finished. I was kind of struggling because I was <laughs> trying to hold the camera and then also um, to cut it. So this is what it looks like. It's done. I'm going to remove it from the heat and drain out the water. And then next it's time for plating. This is the final plating and you can see the turkey stew is looking delicious. I also added some lettuce as well as some planting on the plate that I had around and this is our coconut dumpling y'all. You can literally see bits and pieces of the coconut in between the dumplings and I really do hope that you did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to comment below let us know what you think and also we would love if you do try our dishes you send it to us so we can post it. Until the next video, see you. Bye-bye.